Hey guys, this is Jeff with Speed Industry. So you just bought the new Ecutech software for your car. Ours in particular here that we're gonna walk you through is on the Supra, but we're gonna show you step-by-step step how to put that new tune into your car. Once your Ecutech comes in the mail from Speed Industries, it will come in a, a box like this, which is really nice for containing all the components of it and keeping track of it. It will come up with an ECU Connect uh, dongle for your OBD2. Um, along with a USB cable that you would connect to this to download your software. It'll also come with a desk key. This desk key dongle is basically your license for the Ecutech and you will need this whenever you are downloading or recording some data through the app. But um, if you're just using your phone on the Ecutech with our last video, you will not need the dongle. Once you have your stuff in the mail and you have it all sorted out um, and connected to the car, um, you will then go to Ecutech's website once on the website, you will go to Downloads, Software, Acutech App Downloader. Click on the App Downloader Setup. Once downloaded, double click on it to open it. It will ask if you want to uh, put this on your, on your machine. Hit yes. This will go through the process of installing the software onto your machine. Make sure you click install when it asks you any questions in terms of putting it on your machine. It will then ask you to plug your vehicle into, uh, into your USB hub. Um, our machine only has one USB connector, so we, we actually run a, a uh, four port adapter. Click next. It then says to insert your, your license key. Click that into another port. It would allow you to click next and then finish. Then click download now. You'll then go through the license agreement. Make sure you read every word. Agree to these terms. Make sure you're online when you're doing this download. Um, obviously connected the whole time to your Wi-Fi um, as it will look for updates and along with installing the, the software and the drivers for your car. Once the software builds and actually downloads on your machine, you'll have to agree to the terms again. It will give you a Pro ECU software installation was complete and successful. Hit OK. You'll get a flashpoint notifications. Depending on your car, you will have to purchase flashpoints appropriate for your car. It will ask you if you want to check for updates. Um, you can hit OK. Since you just downloaded the software, your software should be up to date, but it's always good to double check that it does. there's no new new updates or anything then that, you're up, that your software is up to date. Once your software is updated, um, you wanna double check that your drivers and, and your help files are up to date. So click on update drivers and help. And the system will go through and verify that you have all the proper drivers for the desk key and Ecutech system. Okay. Once all your files are downloaded, hit OK. You'll then want to go down to check for flashpoint updates. Ours says check complete. If there was updates to be had, there will be another window that will pop up and you will download and update your flash driver. Once you have this done, you can click out of this window. Next, we are going to go up to tools. Click on tools, but before clicking on identify ECU, Make sure your car is on, but not running. Click on Identify ECU. It will then read the ECU in your car and it will give us the VIN number and the CAL ID. The CAL ID is what we will use to build the file for your car. Um, this file will need to be sent to uh, Speed Industry so that we can get a, an appropriate file for your car and send it back to you. Okay, once you receive your calibration file back from Speed Industry, you wanna go into your Pro ECU, open it up. It should show you have 375 flash points or 225 or whatever, depending on the version of what car you have. There's different flash point cost for different uh, unlocking of different cars. We are currently in a new Supra, um, which takes 375, so we have 375. 
click OK. Make sure your car is on, but not running. Go up to Tools, Detect Vehicle. Um, if you have a Supra like ours, it'd be BMW B58 vehicle. You want to hit ECU Unlock Tool. Hit OK. You'll want to query the ECU. Okay, once you've queried the ECU, you want to load ROM. You want to go into and load the ROM that it's picking from your directory, which will have all of the Super ROMs in them. Once that happens, it'll, you'll want to click Unlock ECU. Now this process will take a long time. You'll hear a lot of clicks and beeps and fuel pump running and stuff like that. That's why you have the charger on there. And once it um, is done, it will tell you it's done. Okay, once everything is done, it'll say ECU unlock complete. Um, please cycle the ignition. So we will turn our ignition off. I always open the door, let everything power down. I always like to fire it up before I put any kind of file into it. Just make sure that it's working properly after the flash to stock back, to, I should say the flash to a stock file. As you see, everything fires up, no check engine lights. We'll shut it back off. Key cycle back up. Now we want to put in our, our new calibration. So we want to open ROM file, go to super ROMs. We'll put our speed industry stage one 91 octane tune into it. We'll open the ROM. As you can see, the ROM opens up. Go to tools, program engine at ECU. It will usually choose the file that you just had open. So it actually says our stage 191 octane. Click program ECU. Again, you'll hear some clicks and pumps running and stuff like that as it's going through the process. And close out of this window. I then like to cycle the power on the car and then fire it back up. Look for any check engine lights. And go enjoy your new performance. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you're seeing, click subscribe, ring the bell. If you want information on Ecutech, then click the link up above. Thanks for watching.